Hello, hello, this is Blutorodactyl, my name is Milda. <coughs> Today we are continuing to covering the case of Nicola Nikki Bully. She's a missing woman from a small English village called St. Michael's on Wyre in Lancashire. She has disappeared on 27th of January after dropping her two kids under the age of 10 off to school just before 8.43 a.m. She left her car next to school, took her springer span in Willow and went for a walk down the river. She met with one of the other dog walker. The exchange couple words and Nicola continued with her walk. At 9.10 a.m. Nicola was spotted by another dog walker walking in the field next to the river. Nicola was logged in to the conference call from 9.10 a.m. After the second dog walker seen Nicola, she disappeared into the thin air. At approximately 9.35 a.m. Nicola's phone was found on the bench just right here, still connected to work call chat room as the call has finished at 9.30 a.m. However, she never logged off. Lancashire police established she went missing in that time. Please subscribe to my channel to help me reach more people to help to spread reliable information and help all the victims and their families. It's 5th of February now and Nicola is still missing. No other evidence have been found and it's like she's just vanished. Over this past week, we've had quite a few police updates on the Facebook page. We had a press conference, a couple interviews on our news channel. Um, this is, I'm not saying this is unusual, but this is quite a lot of information. Usually in UK cases, you don't get anything from police until like years pass. So they do invest quite a big amount of resources into this case. Why? The question is why? Because they think she drowned. They think she fell in the river. They said it's, more, it's most likely she fell in the river, she had an accident, and unfortunately she drowned. However, they never put so much resources, they never put so much money into cases like that when they think a missing person has drowned or had an accident. But they do with Nicola Bully. So it just makes me wonder, do they think that she drowned? Or is just a pretend thing they say to public? And actually they think something more important happened, something bigger happened, and they're just withholding information at the moment. So let's get into our investigation and let's see what we have. Okay, so this is the town, village, probably I would say, where Nicola Bully has disappeared from. Now, her morning started like this. She dropped off her kids to school, village school, this over here, okay? And you can see a little play playground over here. That's the school. She left her car, I'm assuming here in this parking lot, so she left her car next to the school. She took her dog, Willow, the Springer Spaniel, and she walked this way, two to two, and she was spotted on this bridge. So this is pedestrian walking over here. This is the car bridge, this is pedestrian walking. And she was, that's, and she was spotted on this bridge. There are CCTVs there at 8 43 a.m on 27th of january walking down this bridge then she took the turn to this little path over here okay so we can actually see how this path looks in one of my previous videos okay So this is, do you see this path? So this is just off the bridge. This path is just off the bridge. So what you see right now is this path over here, going from the bridge to this path. Okay, 
One more time. This path, just going off the bridge. This is the walk. So, so here, this bridge that you can see, this is the bridge that we just looked in the previous Google Earth picture. This is the bridge here. This is the path. I will be referring the bridge and the path. The bridge and the path. Okay, we're walking onto the path where Nicola was walking. Exactly same path. Okay, and then walking onto the path, and we have these gates. These gates is the entrance onto the field next to the bench where Nicola's phone was found. We go back to Google Earth, the path. So, right, so it looks a long path along. It looks a long time to go from the bridge to the gate that I've just showed you. However, five minutes maybe. Very, very small village. Now, the gate is just over here. And we go back to here. The gate. Okay, so you, and this is the bench. And you can see the bench where phone was found as well as with the dog willow the willow was found running between the gate and the bench not next to the river she was agita agitated state running between bench and the gate bench and the gate as you can see here that's where the dog was found and that's the bench now how does the bench look? The bench and the area next to the bench looks exactly here. This is the area. This is exactly bench where the phone was found. Okay. So this is from a channel. This is called Blackpool School of Arts Tech Demos. Demos. Okay. Small channel. However, they have this video that shows exactly area when Nicola disappeared. So if we just play that, you can see. So you can see there is a drop. Okay, so if, if from from the bench, there is a drop. If we go towards the river, it's not steep drop. Could it be slippery? Yes, it could have been slippery. However, so police. So what police is saying that Nicola most likely fell in into the river maybe there was some emergency that happened with the dog and she fell in right so that's why she left it makes sense she left her phone still in the work hall oh i'm just gonna quickly put my phone down quickly go down the river help out the dog go back to my conference call and then she never went back to her call because she accidentally fell in that's what police says happened most likely However, when you look at the location at the present time now, and when you look at the location on the other people's video, now, could it be slippery? Yes. Is there any evidence? Is there any tracks, slid marks on the area when Nicola fell in? Allegedly, no. There's no evidence of her falling in. There's no things, there's no clothing caught up, nothing. So in here you can see, oh look, there's someone, <laughs> oh so cute, someone else's dog, okay. And that's the river, it's calm, it's very calm river and it has been calm at the time when Nicola was there. It wasn't flooded, it wasn't fast flowing, it was basically exactly the same as you can see in this video. Right, this is not the Nicholas. This is not the Nicholas dog. This is the dog of these people that made this video. However, the reason I'm showing it to you because this shows exactly the same walk that Nicola walked. This is a small village, okay? This is 
only a couple things to do in that village and one of these things walk next to the river on the path have a walk everyone does it it's busy it's full of people it's full of dog walkers this okay so the bench is just over there and this is little fence and yeah you could fall in maybe into the river it's not deep hmm but then it says is uh it gets quite deep like in the river at this location i do have a map there's by st michael's angling association there's fishing fishing people and this is the area just over here where the where the benches okay so this is this is the bridge this is the path remember i said i'm gonna be referring to the bridge and to the path this is the bridge this is the school this is the parking lot where nicola left her car two, two, two. she's going 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 she turns here go onto the path she's going pa, 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 over here and this is the bench so she's doing this walk quite regularly this is not the first or second time she's doing the walk now if we go back to my map that i made so nicola was going up here to the lower field where she met up with another dog walker at 8 47 a.m lower field then she was going up to the upper field just over here doing a cross over here she's been seen here at 9 10 a.m as well by another dog walker a lot of dog walkers i'm telling you everyone walks here she turns around and then she walks here down to the bench assumingly okay we don't know exactly but her phone the dog's harness and lead was found here the dog was found without a harness now one of nicola's friends said it's not unusual that the dog wasn't wearing a harness because at the beginning me and other people were saying why would you take the harness of the dog you only unclip the lead and you let the dog run right you never take the harness off it's weird however one of her friends said and she posted this facebook post um, that Nicola does take harness of the dog as well, not just lead. But if you go on Nicola's Facebook, personal page, Facebook, and look at all of the pictures, it's public, I can just show it to you. Um, right, just give me one second, I'll show you. If you go to the Nicola's personal Facebook, the dog, is never without a harness so her facebook is full of her children photos i don't want to show you all over the internet at the moment um, as a featuring uh, minus uh, if you want you can always go to her facebook it's not private at the moment you can have a look yourself i won't be featuring that however this is one of the picture from her facebook okay here you can see the dog spring spaniel willow this is the dog this is nicola's dog and you can see her wearing a harness okay see my mouse can you see her wearing a harness now there's a couple more pictures and this is yeah if you're thinking oh is this is the walk where she was walking yes you're right this is exactly walk when nicola was walking okay and when she's walking all the time this is not unusual a picture from the bridge from the bridge okay and you can see here the river this is the bridge and the path where she will be walking over here another picture featuring willow the dog is wearing a harness okay when nicola when, when nicola disappeared okay when nicola disappeared the phone was found on the bench and the harness and the lead was found on the floor not on the bench so if we go back to the google earth in this location over here the bench with the phone 
and the dog was found. The dog was running between the gate and the bench. Now, I think most of us, a lot of people at least have dogs. If a dog would see an owner falling into the river, what would they do? They could jump in, try to save them. If I know, well, I have a chihuahua, there's no way she would jump in. And even if she would, she would probably die. But she would be standing next to the river edge, barking the shit out of her and barking for me to come out. Obviously, I don't think she would realize I'm drowning. Now, Springer Spaniel, they are water dogs. Yeah, you would think she would, the, the dog would jump in to help. I don't know how much help it would be, but they would jump in to help. The dog was found bone dry. It's January, 27th of January. It would take ages for Spaniel to dry out. She was found bone dry, meaning the dog wasn't in the water. The dog wasn't in the river. Maybe the dog didn't like the water. So why was the dog found running between the gate and the bench? Very agitated state and not next to the river. We could just wonder, but it doesn't really make sense. What it would make sense why the dog was found next to the river is if someone has taken Nicola, kidnapped, forced her to go with them, and Nicola left the dog, closed the gate behind her and said, Willow, stay here. Okay, because obviously you wouldn't want the dog hard. So you would leave the dog inside of these gates. You tell Willow, stay here. Then the dog would be running from the bench because the phone and the harness and lead is there. So the dog would be smelling Nicola and would be pacing back and forth. Okay. Um, if Nicola left through the gates in her own will, against her own will, uh, that would make sense. If she fall in, I don't know. Why would the dog be running next to the gate if she did fall in into the river? The dog would be next to the river barking, you know? Now, um, lower field, upper field where she was seen the last time, and then she was walking down and then the stuff was found into uh, on the bench. Now the police says it's possible that she fell in around here. Now the river flows this way. And mind the river is not deep all the way on this location over here. And you can even see here, look how shallow it gets. If the body was floating, it would get caught on the surface, it will come out on the surface. Also, this path is very busy. There is a very busy road over here. There are multiple houses this way. If the body was floating, someone would have seen it. Now, if she did fall in, maybe she got caught on the branches. Maybe she got caught on the stones. Maybe, you know, she her clothing, her clothing was made her sink down. However, we were having for a week and a bit now, divers, people with boats looking for her, with sonar equipment, nothing, no information, no articles of clothing, nothing. Now, this bit is a tiny bit deeper. And if we see this map over here on number seven, so this is exactly where uh, the bench is. It's a deep hole. This is the fishing map, okay? I'm not sure if this deep hole they're referring is on the coast or is in the actual water. But I'm sure police has this map and they would have checked that hole. Again, if she did fall into the hole, she would be screaming, the dog would be there and the dog wouldn't be pacing between gate and um, and the bench. The, the dog would be next to the hole, barking again. 
anyone who's, who has dogs need a little shit, they would be barking, come out, come out, give me a treat. Okay? So, uh, yes, th there is a deep hole apparently here. Now, number eight is a red brick building that we can see on Nicholas' Facebook. One of the photos is over here. So this is the red brick building. Now, I'm at, so the bench is over here, I think. I don't know if I said something different um, before, but the bench is over here. So this is, has taken like from the other side. So this is the red building. What this is, this, I'm not exactly sure, but it could be the old hydraulic station where they monitoring the, um, the water levels. It could be some sort of thing like that. I don't think this is, is boarded up, it's abandoned, and I'm pretty sure police already looked into it. The bench is over there. Okay, so this is red brick building. There's being referred on this map as number eight, red brick. Now, this old house that you can see is the abandoned house. It's on the other side of the river, but it's basically just in front of the bench. Right, so this is the... Can you see my mouse? Yes. So this is the old abandoned building. Police apparently has been looking in it. They have... They had a look. I don't know if they... I'm assuming they explored all the basements and underground spaces. And here you can see a boat, so they were looking. Um, they had to get the warrant to explore this house, but I don't think that was a problem. So this house is the old house. So that's what we can find out from this map. What could have happened? Okay, it's very weird. There's no evidence of her falling in, though police says it's most likely she fell in. The river is not that deep, it's not, I mean, all the borders of water are dangerous. And people saying she was a strong swimmer, that doesn't mean anything. The Olympic swimmers die, you know, it's very easy to struggle in the water. However, someone would have noticed there would be body there would be some clothing and divers and sonar equipment would have found it something at least was she kidnapped there are two things that locals are saying again this is not confirmed by police so i can only say this is a speculation but um i'm gonna tell you you can make your own opinions firstly a white van was seen this is a small village, okay? Everyone knows everyone. If there's something or someone com coming from outside, people are gonna notice, okay? Everyone knows what car everyone has. People are gonna notice if there's something else. A white van was noticed in the area. I don't know. I don't know how it's connected or if it's connected. But that's happened. Also, two stranger fishermen not from the area were seen in in this in this field area again this river very popular for fishing it wouldn't be um, strange or weird to have random people coming in um, for fishing I haven't heard anything from the police that any of the mentions of the white van or fishermen However, again, I don't know if they came forward to tell them or to tell police anything or not. I don't even know if it's real. It's just what people are saying. The only things the police are requested is two witnesses. One woman with the red jacket. So this witness, okay. Uh, this woman came forward um, and I don't, gave a statement. And then just the other day, uh, they was looking for another witness. There's this woman with the pram. Again, the woman came forward straight away and police got all the information that was needed. So that 
that's what the only the only public appeal for witnesses most of the river is covered in cctvs but i think exact patch that patch where uh, nicola went missing from so this is not covered the bridge has cctvs and i think parts of the park has cctvs not every part though and 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 unlucky how it always says the bit where nicola disappeared is not covered by cctvs or at least at least police is not saying that so otherwise we would know what happened okay now police is saying that nicola never left the field never left um this field the gate from the gate to the gate, gate however what if there's some tunnels underneath again speculations i don't know but i think there are many exits that are not covered in cctvs where um if she was taken by someone um she could have left okay we don't know that exactly now lancashire police with all due respect is shite okay they are quite arrogant and uh, i think all the police in never mind uh, uk or america or other countries i think all the police from a small towns are quite arrogant because they think oh we can do everything on our own we don't need any help however public needs to know public needs to know you are doing all you can and putting all of the resources that is possible to find this mother of two and i thought they do before i've seen this post um this post from the specialist group international oh okay so a couple hours ago i've seen this post um that says following my public message to lancashire police offering the service of the sgi underwater search team and our vast range of specialist inquirement free of charge to assist in the search for nicola bully blah 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 and then unfortunately lancashire police have responded via the family declining my offer saying they will continue their own river searches using their current resources let us know if we are required and i was like what why would you refuse and it's not they just amateur search and recovery team okay they're already working with multiple police forces in the country in the uk so they are legit okay so i emailed the Lancashire police and I said we need a public um, public statement why are you refusing this search team why are you not using all the, the resources that are available and I've just seen now we have received notice from the family that the SGI underwater search team will be deployed so <laughs> I'm not saying my email affected them but um, I'm just very happy and relieved to know that they are using the resources, okay? So that's what we know at the moment with all of the updates. We did have a couple interviews and I played them in my last video of Nicola's family, so parents and the sister, and Nicola's uh, husband slash partner that people were speculating, the family involved, the partners involved, Again, I mean, in most of the cases, yes, family and partners are the people, perpetrators, who cause harm. However, um, Paul, the Nicholas partner, is working from home. Nicholas home has CCTVs, Paul has alibi. Does he know anything about it? Unlikely. People saying he wasn't emotional enough. The family sister wasn't emotional enough. They were laughing. And what I'm going to say to these allegations, get a grip, people. This is Britain. People here do not display emotions like in America. We are not going to cry in front of the cameras. We're not going to make a scene or drama. We deal with stress. Have you ever heard British humor? We deal with stress, sadness and grief with humor. We laugh. We ignore problem. We do not 
cry and display our emotions just like Americans or other countries, okay? One of the body language experts that you can find has analyzed Paul's um, body language in the interview. You can't, it's not big enough footage, it's not long enough footage for you to see properly, but he, um, the body language expert claimed that there's no deception in his body language. I think he's just a very, very sad man on the verge of breakdown and he cannot afford to do that because there is two little girls that need a parent. They are questioning, where is my mommy? Is my mommy okay? Oh, don't do my hair in this way. Mommy does different way. They are struggling. The kids are struggling. The husband is struggling. The parents, the family are struggling. Stop these allegations without any evidence. This is hurtful. Okay? Uh, this is the point where I'm gonna finish this video at the moment and I will be keeping an eye and I will be reporting on all of the news and all of the latest updates as it comes. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, please, guys. I'm pledging you subscribe to this channel for me to be able to reach even bigger audience to spread the news spread the legit information as there's so many channels that are doing speculations and if you go on TikTok there's no proper information nothing and confirm people finding trash in the forest and saying this is Nicholas clothing are you fucking stupid this is not what we do in this channel join the diner crew be legit thank you